Every year, one million babies die during childbirth. Complications kill half a million mothers and another one million babies within a month. 99% of these deaths occur in the developing world and are preventable with timely detection of complications. The fetal heart rate is the most important indicator of fetal distress, but less than 1% of fetal heart rate monitors worldwide are available in low-income countries. The solution to the problem is twofold. One is to make a product that's rugged and reliable and simple to use. The second part of it is don't make it dependent upon electricity sources. For example, don't make it reliable on, on mains electricity, don't make it rely upon batteries. So what we have over here is a product that uses human energy to create its electricity. On the back of the product there's a crank and you wind up the crank and in doing so I'm creating electricity at about this speed and for every minute of turning this crank I'll get 10 minutes of monitoring time from the product. A lot of the equipment used in developing countries has been developed for first world countries. It is expensive, it breaks easily, uh, difficult to get it repaired um, and is often inappropriate to the needs of an of a, a under-resourced area. The problem is that if the blood supply, the mother's blood supply to the placenta is inadequate for many medical reasons, um, the baby may not get enough oxygen during a contraction. If this happens, the baby does the sensible thing, and that's to reduce its oxygen requirements, its oxygen needs, and it does this by slowing its heart rate down. And it's the slowing of the fetal heart rate, or bradycardia as we call it, that is the signal that the baby gives out that it is not um, managing labor adequately, that it's becoming stressed uh, by inadequate amounts of oxygen. With this device, we can count the baby's heart rate at the start of the contraction, and then as the contraction progresses, see whether the heart rate slows down. And if it does, this is an extremely reliable marker that the baby is not getting adequate amounts of oxygen. When you look at, at the poorer resourced countries, the type of equipment that you develop for these type of countries uh, must be robust, it must be reasonably simple, it mustn't be too sophisticated so that it's got a long, long life. By winding it up, it's the best thing. <laughs> and it also reassures you that your baby's got a normal heart. All right. <laughs> the best example that we've had about its behavior is that the midwives that we've given it to don't want to return it to us. We have a big fight about saying, excuse me, could I have the product back, please? We want to see, uh, we want to examine it for anything that's gone wrong, and they say, no, you can't have it back. It's too useful. It makes too big a difference in our working days. 